Hi creative community, I'm Shoki from Learn Effects. Today it will be another tutorial, another After Effects tutorial. We will try together to create uh, something similar to this. As you can see here, it's a 3D animation of a 3D environment, 3D simulation of a realistic environment. Uh, it was done all in After Effects using like the concept of using some flat layers here, 2D layers, as the ground and background with some extra element. Uh, to give it more realism or to enhance the realism of the scene. Okay, let's go forward. To start something like that, always I start on Photoshop. So I collected some textures. With the first layer, it will be the background, the sky. The second layer, it will be the ground layer. Uh, some extra layers. This one is an extra texture of the sky. I will use it uh, to give more realism to the background. Another ground texture, it will be used for the close-ups and some extra elements, sometimes I'll use rocks or any other element. And a plant for the final cherry on the cake. Okay, after saving this file, the thing that I did already, I open After Effects, I'll double click here to import my file. I'll import it as a composition, I'll retain the layer size. Uh, here you can notice that it's the resolution is 3500 1969 pixel. Uh, I'll not work really with this composition, so I will create a new composition with the desired size HTTP 1080, uh, 25 frames per second. The duration will be 10 seconds, I think it will be enough. First I will rename my composition environment and um, after that I will open trying now to create my environment by dragging the layer one by one. First thing I will drag my background layer, then I'll use my the layer that I prepared for the ground. Okay. I will turn on the 3D layer option. After that I'll create a new camera. So with my new camera as you can notice there is like a blur level or something like that on my composition that's due to the camera options because by default the depth of field is switched on so i'll switch it off for now i will use it later i'll keep my background in the same position i will work more on my ground layer this is the one after that i will go more to work with custom view like that I will simulate the perspective view for the 3D softwares. What I will do now, as you hear in the custom view, if you see I have my camera here. This is my camera. So what I will do now is like I will keep my ground layer in the same zero level. After that I will work on the background, I'll push it up. Then I will push it back. It's here. Going back to my camera, I have my scene like that. So with the same tool I will pan Uh, so this will be my sketch. Second thing, uh, in order to do some animation, sometimes I'm, I don't want to work with the camera to give some keyframes to the camera, like the thing I'm trying to do now, because really I won't have like the maximum of control to the camera. So to be more accurate, Control Z here to remove all the keys, I will create a new null object. This null object will be turn it 3D. This null object will be the guide for my camera. So I will start with a position for my null object. Here, P, I'll create a key here in the first frame. I will go to the last frame. I'll try to move my null object. So the final animation, it will be, the result will be like this. Okay, nice. What I have to do now is maybe I will have to scale my ground. Scale up my ground. I don't have it. Here, I will have this animation. Uh, second thing, I will try to get rid of this sharp edge. So for that, what I have to do is like, uh, I go to the ellipse tool here. I will, with my layer already selected, I double click, it will create like a mask of over the layer 
double M like that I will create some feather and with the mask expansion I can do some work so I will have a nice result Uh, as you can see here in my composition, I have like I can detect quickly that is a fake background because it's moving flat. I will try to simulate the dome effect of the sky. So with the rotation, I will rotate my background. Uh, second thing that is important. This is my trick is like I will duplicate it Once duplicated I will select the new copy. I will Exaggerate a little bit. I will rotate it. So for the final result what I will have I will have something like that Very nice trying to move forward now what I will do I'll control a to select all U on the keyboard, so I will collapse all the layer here. So what I will do now is like uh, I will try to give more realism to the background. So I will start by working here. For that, I have my background, any layer from the two layer from the copies. I will create a pre-composition. So pre-compose, I will rename it Sky. Okay, I will double click on it. So I will I'll be able to work separately on that layer. So what I will try to do now is like I will try to create some motion to give some motion to the clouds here. For that I have more than one option. But for me always I prefer to work with a puppet tool. So I will create some points here called pins. Yeah. Oh. point will be in the edge uh, be sure to work always on the first frame of the layer because by default they will create automatically new keyframes so I will go now for the to the end of the composition of the pre-composition I will select the point that I want to move okay I'll move it like this here I have some undesired effect about the, the edges I don't care because I will adjust it here have some movement make sure that you are giving the more the movement the, the big movement it will be in the top side as it simulated the closest side to the camera and when we go far for, with the clouds for example it will move like slightly okay, okay. so as a result for that we'll get this result yeah looks nice so uh, just to get rid of the this problem with the edge I will scale my layer scale up my layer so I'll have it like that once I go back to my original composition I will simulate the movement I will find that like the clouds they are moving here they are not moving to the uh, in the other layers yes because I did the pre-composition for the background one of the layers of background but the copy of it that the one that I did before why I didn't update it so for that I will select that layer I will go to the pre-composition that I already did and holding alt button I will try to drag it there so it will create here to replace it with a new copy 